Hi, I'm Bella. I'm Eddie. I'm Mahek. Come join us for a day in our lives as UBCL, UBCL engineering, engineering students. students. All right, so right now I'm walking down from my residence to the main part of campus. It's never too far of a walk, maybe like five minutes, um, but all of the residence buildings are behind me. So in your first year, you'll probably be living in one of those too. Hi guys, I just had a buy a comma. Now I'm heading to my lab for 352, which is engineering microelectronics U. You were taking your third year, second semester. Right now we're making something very cool. We're making a heartbeat sensor. So I'm pretty excited to show you guys, okay is me and my partner Adam. We're just getting started for a project. Right now we're testing a four diode, which is designated to detect the pulse in a person's finger. We're using the oscilloscope to see if it's working properly by looking for clean sinusoidal waveform, which would tell us that the sensor is picking up the signal like we expect. All right, so my first lecture of the day is dynamics and all of the first years in engineering have to take the same classes. So it's in a pretty big lecture hall, which means yours will probably be too. All first year engineering students complete a common core curriculum that builds a strong foundation in the basics like design thinking, mathematics, physics, and chemistry. At the end of your first year of study, engineering students select their program of choice through the engineering program placement process. Engineering students at the UBC Okanagan campus are guaranteed their program of choice, so you can take the time throughout your first year to learn more about each of our available programs before choosing. All of us are on a break right now, so let's go find the other two and study together. Shown here is one of the many study rooms on campus. These bookable spaces are perfect for both individual study and group projects. In engineering, having a study group can be incredibly beneficial as it allows you to learn the material from different perspectives and gives you a great team to bounce ideas off of. So I'm headed over to my labs inside of the engineering design lab. Um, but first I thought I'd show you the library. The library is a great resource to find books and study spots, and one of the best parts is a student learning hub. Here you can get free tutoring from upper year students or meet with experts that can help you with writing and researching. And this is my application of engineering design lab, which focuses on Python and machine learning. So throughout the semester, we work on training this Pi car to be able to follow a given path using machine learning. And what you're seeing here is us testing out one of our models. We use a lot of principles that are seen in self-driving cars or even in face ID and image recognition. Hey, I just got a message from Mahek, so let's go meet her and Eddie for a School of Engineering student ambassador meeting. The three of us are student ambassadors here at the School of Engineering. We take part in engineering education research and work on events and initiatives to support undergraduate and prospective engineering students. And this is why we're making this video, to show you what it's like being at UBC Open Ed. Okay, the last thing on my schedule for today is a group project for APSC 171, so let's go to that. APSC 171 is Engineering Drawing in CAD, where first year engineering students learn how to 3D model using SOLIDWORKS, which is an industry standard software, as well as learn how to create and read engineering drawings. Each year, the project varies slightly, but generally it involves a semester-long group project completed in SOLIDWORKS. This year, we were tasked with promoting active transportation and my group created a modified electric tricycle. The project was split into two halves, the SOLIDWORKS model and the physical prototype. We first created a fully functional model in SOLIDWORKS and then used that model to build and wire a physical prototype using laser cut wood, 3D printed components, as well as an Arduino to make it remote controlled. This class is also a great opportunity to utilize the maker and hacker space. Shown here is the hackerspace, which is home to the Okanagan student branch of IEEE, the Institute of Electrical and Electronics Engineers. Not only do they throw events for students, but they have regular office hours that you can drop in for help on class or even personal projects. This is the makerspace. Similar to the hackerspace, it is a space for students that provides different resources and equipment for you to use. All you have to do is finish a quick training and safety course to become certified. Here they have different tools like 3D printers, a CNC machine, cricket, heat press, and even soldering irons. Not only are these spaces used for projects, but the engineering design teams have access to them as well, as well as have their own machine shop. 
Design teams are a great opportunity to gain some hands-on technical engineering experience, work in a team, and potentially travel to international competitions to represent UBCO. Thanks so much for coming along with us today. See you, See you next, next year. year.